Hi guys, welcome to this video. A few people have asked how, uh, what the difference is between self-contained belt and self-activated belt, which you can see here, which is SAB, SCB. <coughs> and what it basically is, is if you were putting more than one, system, one alarm onto the system, for example, you put the sound on the front and back of your house, if you were to put them both on in self-activated bell mode, you would overload your intruder alarms panel. So you only ever be you have two bells on SAB if you're using powered expanders. So it's quickly switched over by just removing the jumper and reinstalling it onto whichever mode you want. So at the bottom would be self-contained bell as it is now. At the top, it's self-activated bell. <coughs> You've also got low power mode, uh, low current mode here. So you can flick that, leave that on self-activated bell and flick on your low current mode. <clears throat> but to explain this better then, I uh, can't really do it on an alarm panel because I blow the panel as I said. <laughs> so I'm going to show you quickly on the computer using the uh, the calculator that Texcom provide to show you how the power draw. And you can see here in the bottom corner that is your power consumption. So let's go to the computer now and uh, take a look. Hi right, guys, as you can see here I have the uh, EN calculator which come, you can get from Texcom's website. So just to set up a random panel. So now if I add two Odyssey X is the wave in normal mode times two. As you can see here down in the bottom at the current, it's instantly gone red because it's exceeding one amp. So if you knock that back down to one, gone back into the green. And this time we're going to add one, but in self contained bell mode. And you can see this one is now in the green. So it's quite happy, this works. it's not going to damage the system, it's not going to draw too much power. It's quite good to use it like that. So on the computer there, you could, it just explains the current draw, but what does that mean in relation to what actually is a self-activated bell and self-contrained bell? Well, the difference mainly is that um, when it's in self-activated bell, and your jump is at the top here, the, uh, the, the, the sound itself is drawing power from the panel. So when the alarm goes off, it draws power the power of the sounders and the strobe light. If you flicked the uh, the switch over to self-contained belt, if I can get it back on with my oh, finger, here we go. That's in self-contained belt. What that means is that instead of getting power from the panel, it's drawing power from this battery if it goes into alarm. It's still charging off the panel, sat in its normal mode, happily ticking away with its LEDs, all powered by the panel. But as soon as, you, as the alarm goes off, instead of the uh, the sound is drawing power from the panel, like I said, it draws it from this little back there. So I'm going to make some more of these uh, learning videos, so please like and subscribe. And it should explain the, the alarm systems a little bit better to you. Thank you for watching.